Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I want to say a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today, I'm going to be preparing a cow heel and chicken soup. It is getting to cold months and I like to make a lot of soup. So today I'm in the mood for some nice delicious soup and I want to share this recipe with you guys. If you want to see how I'm making this, come on down and let's get cooking. So for tonight's soup, I have some chicken here seasoned with salt, black pepper and green seasoning. I have some cow heel cut up very nice and small and I add some green seasoning, salt and black pepper. I'm going to start preparing this for my soup. So I'm quickly frying up the chicken and then I will set it aside. Now I'm quickly frying up the cow heel. I like to pass them quickly in some hot oil so we can get out any of that natural water that it gives out. I'm gonna add some split peas into the pot. So I'm gonna cook the split peas and the cow here together. I'm gonna pressure this until the meat is soft and until our split peas is melted before we start putting the soup together. So now that the, everything is sticking to the bottom, I'm going to add a few cents of thyme in here. I just crushed two nice cloves of garlic. I'm going to add it to the pot and then we're going to add some water. I have some warm water. And we will pressure these two until they are nice and soft and ready for us to add the rest of the, the rest of the ingredients while my cow heel and split peas is boiling i'm gonna start peeling up some provision to add to our soup in the winter weather we like to make a lot of different kind of soup because it is very comforting and soup is very nutritious during the cold months I have some half ripe plantain. The kids love that in soup. I have one sweet potato. I have some edos and I have a piece of cassava. I'm gonna peel these up and I'll come right back and show you the next step. Now that I finished peeling up my provision, I have some fresh ingredients that I'm gonna be chopping up. I have three small onions. I have some freshly picked green onions from my garden and look how big and huge these are. I'm gonna be adding two broad leaf or thick leaf thyme to the soup. Fine leaf thyme is must for soup and I want it to have a nice spicy flavor so I have four maruri pepper that I'm gonna be adding. I'm gonna cut up all this fresh ingredients and we will soon be putting everything together. So I just finished pressuring the cow here and the split peas. Everything is, the split peas is melted and the cow heel is nice and soft. So I'm gonna add this to a bigger pot or a wider pot. So I added all the meat to the pot. Now I'm gonna add the liquid and we're gonna add all our provision and our seasoning to this and we're gonna have a delicious soup tonight so now I'm gonna add all my provision I wash them and I cut them into small pieces carefully and adding it to the pot we're gonna give this a mix I'm gonna add all my ingredients now so we're going in with some more thyme i added some before we're gonna add those ones and i'm gonna add my onion green onions pepper and some carrots to this and 
this smell nice already I love what I'm smelling right now a nice warm bowl of soup on a cold night always comfort me so well so now I'm gonna mix this in mm. and then I will add some black pepper I'm gonna add some salt and we're gonna let this cook away until all the provision is nice and soft so look how nice this soup is looking all my provision is nice and soft and the liquid looks very very delicious right at the end I have some fresh spinach that I like to put into the soup just to steam before I turn the stove off and this will give us a very beautiful flavor and it will look amazing in the soup and it's also healthy for us so I'm gonna turn off my stove and I will be plating up very soon so my soup is done and look how delicious and nutritious our soup is full with beautiful ingredients those strings are just stems from the thyme I have here my cow heel the provision the liquid from the soup is well combined with some amazing flavors and the split peas so this is gonna be so satisfying tonight I'm gonna dip myself a nice bowl and I will show you guys how it looks when I plate it up. So here is my delicious hot bowl of soup. Steaming, steaming hot. Um, before I do my taste test, I have a success story to share. Our very own sister Shanna tried my recipe for cornbread and she was very happy with the results so right after this i'm going to be showing sister shanna's cornbread success story So now I'm gonna do the taste test. It's nice and warm and I just love everything that's in this soup. Spinach, carrots, everything. So I'm gonna dive in for something that won't hold much heat. And I will let you guys know how this tastes. So I'm gonna do my taste test now. To all my viewers out there, this is your mouthful. Mmm, so delicious. I got a piece of the ripe plantain and it's so sweet. The liquid from the soup is just so divine. Oh my God, so flavorful with all the goodness, the seasoning, the spinach, the carrots. And I'm gonna go in for a piece of Edo for all my Edo friends out there. This is usually the hottest thing in the soup, so I have to be careful. Mm. And that's cooked very nice and soft, very nice and hearty. So I want to mention one thing before I close the video that our time change. So we have one hour behind Trinidad and Guyana time. I just want to mention it because I think the U.S. have a time change as well. So we're one hour behind you guys. Just so you know, sometimes I might post and it might seem late for you, but we are one hour behind. So I just wanna say thank you guys for coming along with me with making this soup tonight. I wish you guys a blessed and a safe night. Love you guys, bye for now.